Hey, my name is Sage, and today I want to show you how to hold the guitar pick properly. Before we can do that, though, we need to know one very simple element of sound production on the guitar. So, let's do a quick experiment. I'm going to take this sixth string on my guitar, this low E, and I'm going to pull it straight towards the ceiling. It sounds like this. Now I'm going to take that same string, and I'm going to pull it with the same force out from the guitar, towards you. Do you hear how it's a fuller and richer sound? Well, the reason is this. When I pull the string towards the ceiling, the string is vibrating up and down. That causes over here the bridge in the saddle to vibrate up and down, which causes the face of my guitar to vibrate up and down. And when the face of the guitar vibrates up and down, it doesn't move a lot of air. It would be the equivalent of me taking this card and saying, hey man, are you hot? Let me fan you. It doesn't really move much air, does it? So, when the string vibrates in and out, it causes the bridge and saddle to vibrate in and out, which causes the face of the guitar to vibrate in and out, which compresses and decompresses air, thereby producing more vibrations, moving more air, making more sound. See? This is the way to fan someone. That's the way the guitar top should move. I have to say that was quite oversimplified. There are many ways in which the strings vibrate, and there are many ways in which the guitar top vibrates. So what we want to do is we want to hold the guitar pick in such a way that it makes the string vibrate in and out and not up and down. So let's do our next experiment. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take the guitar pick, I'm going to put it flat against the string, which is what many people do at first. All right, this is not the correct way to hold the guitar pick. I'm just holding it this way so you can see the pick on the string a little bit better. I'll show you how to hold the guitar pick properly in just a moment. So if I put the guitar pick flat on the string like this, it produces a very thin sound. The reason is, you see here, as I press the pick down, it's yanking the string down towards the ground, which causes it again to vibrate up and down in this direction. Here's the guitar pick flat. Now, with the guitar pick pointing into the guitar still, I'm just going to put it on that forward edge. Now what happens is when I press straight down, the pick here creates a little bit of a ramp, and as I press down, that guitar string moves into the guitar. Do you see how that string is moving into the guitar? As I press down, right, it's still moving down towards the floor, but it's also moving a little bit into the guitar. So that when I play the string, and that pick releases, the string pops back out, producing that fuller, richer sound. Let's have a listen here. Here's the pick flat again. Thin and puny on the forward edge. Full and rich. So now you know the guitar pick needs to go on the forward edge. But there's one more thing that you need to know. If I'm holding the guitar pick and I let my hand fall over, you see the pick is sort of leaning towards the floor. In that case, the pick is going to slip off the string on a downstroke, but it's going to get caught on the way up, and we get this sound. It doesn't feel the same to me going up and down, and also you hear the difference in the sound. Also, if I lean the pick the other way, like towards the ceiling, Again, a very uneven sound and an uneven feeling. But if the guitar pick is pointing straight into the guitar, sort of perpendicular to the guitar, and it's on that forward edge, when I do a downstroke, I'm playing off the forward edge of the pick. And when I do an upstroke, I'm playing on the back edge of the pick. And if you know anything about simple uh, geometry, the angle of attack to the string is going to be the same. And if the angle of the attack is same, then the sound is the same. So listen, we'll have a very even sound when the guitar pick is pointing directly into the guitar on that forward edge on the way down, on the back edge on the way up. So now that we've talked about how to make sound efficiently on the guitar, let's talk about how to make you efficient as a player. 
So here's what we're going to do. Make a fist in your right hand, or your picking hand if you're left-handed, and then relax. Again, make a fist. Don't open, just make a fist and relax. And if you're like most people, you're going to see that your thumb and your index finger are touching one another. So all we're going to do is take the pick and put it in that space between your thumb and your index finger. Then I'm going to take my arm, put it over the guitar with the elbow behind the guitar, and place the pick on the string. Now that I'm looking at the guitar, I'm making sure the pick is pointing directly into the guitar without falling over or leaning up, and it's on that forward edge. Then, using the entire arm, right, from the elbow down, we're going to use the elbow because it's the strongest muscle or strongest joint we have at hand, and we're just going to press down from the elbow to do a downstroke, and pull up from the elbow to do an upstroke. Again, they're going to have a very even sound because that angle of attack to the string is the same on both sides. That's how you hold the pick. Thanks for watching.